What's up there, Miami fans? The news has finally dawned upon us. As you see on the screen right now, the Miami Dolphins just signed former offensive coordinator to the San Francisco 49ers, Mike McDaniels. I am so, so, so excited and relieved. It's not Kellen Moore. First thoughts off the off my chest. Now, this is a live reaction. I'm not going to edit this all up and stuff. But man, I am I am pumped. This guy is an offensive mind. He has tons of connections throughout the league to bring some really good coordinators. Um, look, I'm still I'm still yearning from uh, us firing Coach Flo. I still miss him. That that's still in my heart. Coach Flo, I hope everything works out, man, for you. But man, Mike McDaniel's man, he's he's here. He's here. He is our coach now. And uh, you know, it's funny because I have a lot of Dallas Cowboys fans who are uh, friends of mine. A lot of them are, are like friends of the show, but you know, they're friends of mine in real life. And you know, they were saying, Doug, man, if y'all get cut, Kellen Moore, y'all could <laughs> kiss you, kiss your next season goodbye. He's absolutely terrible. And I was like, Yeah, I don't want him. And it's especially see that, that you know, that uh, probably the worst game plan I've ever seen in my life in that playoff game that the Cowboys had was uh, or, or the last game they played, what have you, was absolutely terrible. Um, but anywho. Wow, here, here we are. Here we are. They got Mike McDaniels. Now, obviously, it's been a lot of doom and gloom, right? Coach Flo, he's coming with the lawsuit, right? And rightfully so. I back him. I want to say that I 100% support him. I'm not a fan of Chris Greer. I'm not a, a fan of Stephen Ross. I want them out. But in the meantime, head coach Mike McDaniels is our coach. He brings a lot of joy. If you watch his interviews, he's cracking jokes. They had a reporter named Mike Jones. For those who don't know, Mike Jones was a uh what's the name of a rapper in the uh you know early two th oh, sorry early mid 2000s and he used to say who mike jones who mike jones and uh he started doing that with the reporter you know it, it's a funny clip but you know it, it's just the type of personality that he brings the offensive mind that he brings that miami was so yearning for you know um i will say and this isn't this and coach flow but man we we, <laughs> we didn't have a good offensive coordinator man we, we did not you know, and and while he's a defensive minded coach, and our defense was always solid, but I do believe he would have fixed that. I just want to throw that out there. Um, I don't think firing was the right thing to do, but if we were to select anybody, coach Coach Mike is gonna he's gonna take us to this team to the next level. And he said that you know, supposedly last Friday he had a ten hour uh, interview with the Miami Dolphins. Ten hours, man. I think interviews I've had maybe an hour, ten hours. That's a that's a long time, right? So. I'm excited, man. Miami, Miami did a good thing today. Um, thank you, Steve Ross, for, for for signing Coach Mike McDaniel's man because this is this is going to be huge for Miami. Um, this is going to be, and you know what's nice is that the while he's an offensive minded coach, I hope that he we don't have um, a similar situation to Coach Flo where it's like okay, our defense is stout, right? But offense, man, what we're lacking in a lot of areas. I hope it doesn't become the reverse, you know, where it's oh, our offense is great. Our defense, not so much. So hopefully he can build a culture, man. I know it's Miami is the most attractive place to go to right now because look who's running the team, you know, Greer and Ross, right? So, um, and then, man, hey, man, I had to bust out my Tua jersey today, man. Like, Tua time, Tua time, baby. Let's go. Um, yeah, man, I, I'm excited, man, because, you know, Tua, if you think about it, he finished his rookie season this year, if you really think about it, right? And they're like, well, hold on. Just clicked on this thumbnail about Mike McDaniels. Why are talking about Tua? Because he has plans for two, and I'm very curious. I'm curious, optimistic. I'm also a realist as well, too. But I'm curious to see what the, our new coach has has in store for the Miami Dolphins, right? Um, it, what what is it? Is it going to be running involved? Are, are we, I, obviously, while there's no Debo Samuel, right? <laughs> Debo Samuel. Uh, I heard him say something. He was a a, a a a wide back, which is a combination between a running back and wide receiver. You know, the body type of Debo Samuel and Jalen Wild are just two different things, right? But it is going to be exciting to see uh, what he has to bring in store for the Miami Dolphins. I'm really excited. This is such a such a great hire. It raised my spirits. Uh, are we going to get draft picks this year? <laughs> I don't know. It, it's going to be um, it's gonna be interesting, right? Because there's a lawsuit happening, you know, and hopefully we get some new management too. That, that's the next step I'm really hoping for, y'all, because – they just haven't hit the nail on the button. And you know what's crazy? If I could, if I can say one good thing about Ross is that he's very good at bringing talent, but he'll overpay for it. And then Greer has a bad eye. It looks good at first, right? Remember two drafts ago where 
We're like, oh, man, we got O-line after O-line off the O-line. Well, we got Jackson. We got Hunt. We got all these people. And it's like, how many of those draft picks worked out, right? So hopefully um, th this, this is the start of good things for the Miami Dolphins. I'm optimistic. I'm a realist, right? So I'm not like, he's not just going to get a pass on everything, right? There's, But I'm hoping that he keeps a lot of the pieces of our defense together. The good pieces that do work for our offense, that he keeps them. And that's not, you know, we're not going to lose a whole bunch of players now there are a few guys who are on one and two year contracts so it's gonna be very curious to see what happens right um and i do believe our whole line is finally going to get fixed we have tons of cap room uh while yes we have uh, a later pick in the first first round of the draft we still got draft picks at the end of the day so and this is a very if this draft just real quick before i end the episode the 2022 nfl draft is very deep in the trenches d lineman and o line are going to be plenty so Stay tuned. But anywho, let me know your thoughts. Comment below. Maybe you don't like this pick. Maybe you love this pick. Maybe you really wanted somebody else. Maybe you're just excited and you want to chop it up with me. I interact with everybody. So please go down below. I promise to talk with you, even if it's negative. It's all good. God bless you guys. Be safe. And uh, hey, fins up. Let's go, baby. Woo! Turn 100 for the touchdown, King Crown, gain the sock, leading your town, hit you faster than the sound, bad boy, throw it down, hey. yeah, I'm ill, not my will, don't cop a fill, fill the house, listen to the world crowd, drop a like, calm it down, Heisman, all the haters mouth, superhero, hit them wow, packing more action than bing, boom, bam, pow, touchdown for the win, we live, subscribe right now. Hey.